Um, I'm just going to start by playing a video of some of my experiments with this and it kind of explains what I'm getting at. And then I'll play this and you can ask questions after. with a person case. There's no meaningful impact. Yeah, so the arms are even more useful to me. I thought it might be worth demonstrating what the arms can do. See, they strike quite fast and they work quite well. on the arm to be a very simple thing. It's unspectacular, but it does work. Um, I've hooked up a few words to logic. it. That just sits up kind of snug like that. Right, so this is the first one that really works properly.
on so she was doing better thing. Whereas the other arm keeps coming back to heal itself. experimental autonomous robot designed to play keyboard using randomization and sensor input to determine my actions. I am made from Lego Mind Storms and XT 2.0 pieces. I currently have two touch sensors and will soon have a color sensor and a sound sensor. I have three motors. One controls my left to right movement. The other two motors control my arms. By the end of this semester, I will be playing a number of different styles of music. These will include <laughs> chance music, an acoustic piece, an ambient piece, a syllabic piece, and I may also play music in a human. Today I will be playing the dance style piece using Ableton to trigger each section of music. It was a challenge to learn to play. I had to stop at the right places to trigger each section of music. <laughs> this was achieved through careful measurement, trial and error, and maths. Randomization logic has also allowed me to choose any sample within a section of music. So now I am able to play verses, choruses, and breakdowns differently each time. I hope you enjoy my performance.
that's, God. that's basically it. <laughs> that's where I'm up to so far. What are questions? How does it like actually like how does a randomization work and stuff like that? Um, well, I'm using the Lego software to program it, and there's actually a randomization block in that that you can use. And um, I use a bit of mathematics with um, like the angle of rotation that the motor has to go, um, and that kind of worked out which sections of the keyboards it would hit, but with a whole random thing going on. It's a bit complicated if I explain it oh, yes. in detail. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been working on this? It's like it would have taken a while to work out the distance of the robot. Um, the distance actually wasn't that hard because it has its own little measurement thing, so it can give you a rough idea, and then you just trial and error with it. Um, I did start in the holidays though because I got this um, set for my birthday in August last year, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to use it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. What inspired you to come up with this, this, this inspiration and end with form? Yeah. Um, well. Because uh, I'm in comp 5 now, I've kind of been like, what the hell am I going to do when I get out? Because I don't really think I'm the kind of person who will make a lot of money in music just on its own. Um, so I've actually been thinking of going back to do engineering, which is kind of what I was headed for in school before I did music. Um, and if I did engineering, it would be robotics, and that's something that I've been interested in for a long time. So I thought, why not you know, mix it up with music for a bit and see how that goes. Do you have a sponsorship for Lego? Do they know you're doing this? Because I could, I, I think maybe you should think about it. Because I think yeah, like even just something else, display in a fun like I think it's huge. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah